In the last episode, we talked about uh, structs in Rust. If you want, you can check the previous video. I will leave a link below. So this is a practical example of how you can use uh, structs uh, in Rust. Structs is a compound data type. It's a type that you can use to have multiple data types uh, in the same uh, ends structure. We'll see also why we should do this. We can start by not using structs. Let's say that we want to create and calculate the area of a rectangle. We can have a width, for example, 30, a height, 50, and then we can print this area. To do this, we should create a function. So let's create the function first. We can have a function called area area calculation like this. And we can simply return the width and the height multiplied and that's the area. I hope you know the signature of a function in Rust. Otherwise, there is a lesson called function. Simply, we have these two arguments. Then we have an arrow and then we have the return type. We have print ln. The area of the rectangle is like this cargo run dash q. And we have what we expect. So nothing strange here. We have the area of the rectangle is 1500. What's the problem here? The bigger problem is that we define these two variables here on line two and three. And then we have this function that uses uh, these two variables. But uh, the logic is just because we have them on line two and three. <laughs> but I don't know if I put this uh, here. Let me show you what is uh, another issue here. Let's say that I have, I do a very dumb mistake, which is very likely to happen. So let's say that I, did, I do this. I, I, I invert height and width. Let's try to do the cards cargo run. It seems that we don't have a bug. But think about having, I don't know, that maybe we want, uh, maybe these two uh, dimensions, they matter. So maybe they, we want to print this rectangle on the screen, or we want, I don't know, to create a model. <laughs> and then we'll have a model instead of like this, we'll have a model which is uh, like this. It's not that easy to spot the bug here. Even like this, uh, in 10 lines of code, uh, is a width height, height is here and width is here. You see, this bug can be very annoying. Do you agree? Let's try to use uh, tuples, tuples before. We will use tuples first and then we'll do this with uh, struct. A tuple is a data type that has multiple types inside it, but they have no names. Everything is used based on the order we provide them. Let rectangle, rect1, like this. We understand that a rectangle has two dimensions and then we can have a function here. You can call this function area with these uh, dimensions. So a single parameter, which are the two dimensions, dimension dot zero multiplied dimensions dot one. And then we can print uh, this. So this is one update cargo run dash Q. We have the same output. So nothing strange here. <laughs> is this better or not? I don't know. To be honest, did we solve the issue? We don't even have the let with let height. We have this rect one equal, and then we, I don't know, maybe we usually we do first the width and then the height. But I think at the code, maybe you'll share this with someone else. It might be even worse. <laughs> I'll say there is an improvement here. The improvement here is that these two dimensions in this case uh, they are tied together we will use uh, the first dimension the second dimension together in the signature of this function i think an improvement is here on line 11 we have uh, instead of two separate uh, parameters we have a single one which are the dimensions that we need uh, to calculate the area now let's try to do this uh, with structs a struct a rectangle width and height and then we can have a function we can have this we can create an instance of this let's remove this for now we can have the ist an instance of the rectangle let's create the function function area and then we have this rectangle colon ampersand rectangle and then we have uh, a return type u32 which is a rectangle dot width multiplied rectangle dot height and i think that we need to print it print the area of the rectangle is 
square pixels and then the area area and then and this is interesting instead of passing two random numbers we are passing what we are passing a reference with the ampersand of the instance of the struct that we just created cargo run dash q and we have the same output but what's the advantage here is this as an area we just give the instance of a rectangle now this is here we are just multiplying two numbers but think about having an instance of a player in a game or having the status of a part of the application or using a way more complicated object and even worse let's think about adding some functionality here we are just passing this um, instance of the rectangle and here we are using and this is very clear this is what it, it's really great about structs this that we have rectangle dot width multiplied rectangle dot height so here we are using something very explicit we are using these two values width and height how can we print uh, this uh, instance is there like a sort of like two string for example if you use java so let's remove uh, this one if we do like this uh, you see this is a strange symbol like this let's try we get an error a rectangle doesn't implement the bug okay let's read let's read here we need to add this uh, debug trait here on top of this struct Let's try again. We have a couple of warnings because when we use the debug trait, the compiler also ignores everything that we do with this. Even if we print, you see here, rect1 is a rectangle, the compiler ignores everything that is used in debug mode. So we get a warning. <laughs> okay, uh, so we get this. This is um, interesting. We can also try something like this i think it was something like this print we can also try like this ln this is basically just to format it rect1 is like this this is syntax check line 13 on line 13 we have print ln rect1 is and then we have this syntax so colon um, hashtag and then uh, question mark i want to comment this okay and check it out now it's printing this instance in this way so rect1 is a rectangle and I, I like how this is formatted now and be sure to add this derive the bug i really love the fact that in rust we can by default we don't have all of this but we can add some traits with this notation this hashtag and then we can add for example clone traits uh, we can add something on top of something i really like this default behavior but then we can extend it in some ways